plus 192, 168, 1.2. Well, let's go to our router 2. And here is the address 192.168.1.2. So this is a host that I have. So let me type like this host 192.168.1.2. Well, I'm saying access list 25 permit this host 192.168.1.2 enter then next line I have to say block the whole network everyone else in this network meaning PC2 PC3 any other PC is not allowed to get access to this server so we have to write this more general one again that one is part of access list 25 so I have to add it to the access list 25 at a se as a second line so I type access list 25 this time I say deny deny who everyone else but here I'm gonna say everyone else from this network meaning what is my network address look I have to put host name or an address to match so I put the address of the whole network meaning 192.168.1.0 okay now let's put question mark after that it says wildcard bit now what is wildcard bit okay let's look at this address I said I'm telling the router I'm gonna deny I want you to deny anything that comes from 192.168.1.0 now your router as I told you the router is not a smart device that says okay by saying 192.168.1.0 you meant this network it says I'm waiting for a packet that has the source address of 192.168.1.0 so will any packet with this address comes from these guys definitely not because this guy here has the IP address of 192.168.1.3 this one has 192.168.1.4 uh, and and so on because let's go to a new page again when I type uh, the bigger font when I type 192.168.1.0 I mean this network but my router thinks that this is an IP address now all people that I have under this network have the IP address like this let me copy this part dot one dot two dot three so dot 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 two five four these are all the addresses that I have under this network from 1.1 to 1.254 and this is my network address so we change the font here this is your network address and these are all IP addresses what you meant is anyone who comes from this network that has IP address 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 till 1, 2, till 254 should be blocked so you put this address here but the router thinks that this is an IP address now there should be a way that I tell my router that what when I write this address I meant you have to find a match with 192 you have to find a match with 168 you have to find a match with one and the last part doesn't matter because it might change it might be two it might be three it might be four it might be two five four I need to have a way to tell this to my router to make my router understand by writing 192.168.1.0 I meant anything from this network. This will be done by wildcard bit or, or wildcard mask. Now you saw here after your address you have to enter wildcard mask. Now what is wildcard mask? wildcard mask has the structure of the IP address meaning 
it is 32 bits it has four different octet and each octet has uh, eight bits so the same as IP address now if you look at the binary version of IP address for example here I have 192 uh, 192 means 1100000 then 168 means uh, 168 means 128 here is uh, then 0 then uh, 1 we have oh, 120 plus 32 160 16 8 0 0 0 hopefully it's correct 2 4 6 8 here I have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. Okay, yeah, correct. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So for better understanding, I better put these dots here so that you won't make a mistake. Now, this is the binary version of your IP address. Now, which part of this address is important for you? The first part is important. It's 192, right? You want the router to look at it to find a match for this. The second part is important, 168. You want the router to look at this part as well. Third part, 1. All 8 bits are important for you because you want the router to look at this part last part zero it's not important for you because each time it changes now it's zero next time this is the network address if an uh, address comes from 0 0.3 you want to block it 0 0.10 block it 0 0.24 block it so this part is variable this part might change so you want to tell this to the router how to do that wildcard bit your wildcard bit is exactly 32 bits in this way now Wherever I put zero, it means that bit is important to me and I need my router to check it. Wherever I put one, it means ignore that part. It doesn't matter, it changes. So zero, that part never changes. Check it. One means that part changes. Forget about it, don't worry about that. So here, all eight bits here are important. So I put zero seconds important third one fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth one is important then after that all eight bits represent one six eight so they are all important so i put zero for them zero 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 meaning eight zeros third octet all bits are important to me so by putting zero i say it is important so eight zeros last part it's not important so by putting one I tell to my router that last part is not important don't worry about that don't check that one so this is wildcard bit wherever you put zero it means important bit wherever you put one it means not important bit ignore it so if I convert this one to decimal dotted decimal I'll get zero for the first part so zero dot this one is all zero, we'll get zero. This one, all zero, we get, sorry, dot zero. And the last part, all one, so I'll get two, five, five here. So this will be your wildcard mask. By putting this here, zero, dot zero, dot zero, dot two, five, five, I tell my router that, look, first part, I put zero is one nine two is if you found a packet that the source address starts with one nine two it's important check it I need to have a match there if I have one six eight I put zero here look so that one is also important if it has one I put zero that one is also important the last part it doesn't matter look I put two five five so you don't need to check that part if you found the packet that source address starts with these three octets so check that one the last one no need to check so in this way I tell my router 
to check the packet in this way. Now, if you look at this wildcard bit and you compare it with your uh, subnet mask that you had, look at this scenario. The subnet mask that you had here was 24, meaning 255, 255, 2550. Let me write it here. I had 255.255.255.0. Now, look at this. This is your subnet mask. Subnet mask. And this is your wild, wild card mask. Compare these two. Are they exactly opposite of each other, inverse of each other? Look, this one is 0, this one is 255. 0, 255. 0, 255. This one is 0, this one is 255. So if you make, uh, if you do more practices, uh, you would be more comfortable with uh, finding the wildcard mask for, uh, for uh, your network and your uh, router. So I'm back here. In router 2 and here is my access list the second line the second rule of my access list okay let's go to privilege mode let's verify uh, our access list check it uh, when you want to see something you go to privilege mode and you type show command so show access access list here it is uh, access list uh, standard IP access list 25 I have permit 192.168.1.2 and then after that I have deny 192.168.1.0 now if I make a mistake and put this one at first and put this one uh, the first line at the second then this access list will never work in the way that I want. It will always block everyone because it will find, it will look at this three first part, it will find a match and it will block everyone. But when I put the first line as this one, when it receives a packet from 192.168.1.2, it checks, looks at the source address. Is it 192.168.1.2? Okay, you're allowed, you can go in. It never comes to the next line. But let's say it receives a packet from 192.168.1.3. Then that packet will not match with the first line. It goes to the second line. It will match with the second line and it will be denied. But so far, I have created the access list. But the access list does not work like this. It is just there on the router. Let's see. Let's check. I want to block. So if I ping... Uh, this this network I should be blocked I shouldn't be able to get access to that based on the access list that I have but when I ping you see that still I can ping it I can get reply from that why because I have to apply this access list to an interface then the router knows that okay a packet that goes to this interface I have to apply this access list on that packet well now, which interface I have to choose? Remember, I told you, always closest to the destination. Your destination is this. The closest router to the destination is router 2. Now, the closest interface to the destination is interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. So, when you go to your router 2 command prompt, you have to go to interface, global configurations, interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, then the command to apply that access list to this interface is like this IP access group access group question mark look the number of that access list now here your router refers to that access list number my number was 25 okay 25 now the router says how I should implement uh, uh, apply that access list on that interface when the packets are going out or where the packet when the packets are coming in so 